Business Intelligence Lecture 3. Today we will learn about Data Modeling and Dimensional Design. Introduction to Data Modeling. Dimensional Modeling Techniques, Star Schema, Snowflake Schema, etc. OLAP Online Analytical Processing Cubes. Introduction to Data Modeling. Data modeling is the process of creating a conceptual representation of data objects and their relationships to one another. A data model is used to organize and structure data so that it can be easily understood, analyzed, and manipulated. There are several types of data models, including 1. Conceptual data model, a high-level view of the data. Requirements for an organization independent of any specific technology or database management system. 2. Logical data model. A detailed representation of the data objects, their attributes, and their relationships. It is technology independent and provides a foundation for the physical data model. 3. Physical data model. A specific representation of the data objects and their relationships in a particular database management system. Taking into account performance and storage requirements, data modeling involves several steps, including 1. Identify entities. The first step in data modeling is to identify the entities that are relevant to the organization. Entities are objects or concepts that have unique attributes and can be distinguished from other objects or concepts. To dot define relationships, once the entities have been identified. The next step is to define the relationships between them. Relationships describe how the entities are related to one another. 3. Define attributes. The next step is to define the attributes of each entity. Attributes describe the characteristics of the entity, such as its name, description, and data type. 4. Normalize the data model. Normalization is the process of organizing the data model to minimize redundancy and improve data integrity. 5. Validate the data model. The final step is to validate the data model to ensure that it accurately represents the organization's data requirements and is consistent with industry standards and best practices. Dimensional modeling techniques, star schema, snowflake schema, EDC. Dimensional modeling is a data modeling technique used in data warehousing to organize and structure data for efficient querying and analysis. It involves creating a dimensional model that consists of one or more fact tables and a set of related dimension tables. The fact table contains the measures or metrics that are being analyzed, such as sales revenue, quantity sold, or customer count. The dimension tables contain descriptive information about the data, such as time, product, customer, or location. There are several techniques for dimensional modeling, including one dot star schema. In a star schema, the fact table is at the center of the model with dimension tables radiating out from it like the points of a star. Each dimension table is joined directly to the fact table creating a simple and intuitive structure. Star schemas are easy to understand and query and are commonly used in data warehousing. 2. Snowflake schema. In a snowflake schema, the dimension tables are normalized, with each dimension table having its own set of subdimension tables. This creates a more complex structure than a star schema, but can be useful when dealing with hierarchies or when there are many attributes. In a dimension, 3. Dot fact constellation schema. In a fact constellation schema, Multiple fact tables are joined together, each with its own set of related dimension tables. This can be useful when dealing with complex business processes that involve multiple metrics or dimensions. For a dot bridge table schema, in a bridge table schema, a bridge table is used to connect multiple dimension tables to a single fact table. This can be useful when dealing with many-to-many -many relationships between dimensions. OLAP Online Analytical Processing Cubes Online Analytical Processing OLAP Cubes are data structure used in data warehousing to provide fast and flexible access to large volumes of data. An OLAP Cube is a multi-dimensional data model that allows data to be organized and analyzed from multiple perspectives. It consists of one or more fact tables and a set of related 
Dimension tables, similar to dimensional modeling, the OLAP cube allows data to be organized into multiple dimensions, such as time, product, geography, and customer. These dimensions can be analyzed in any combination, allowing users to quickly and easily explore and analyze data from different angles. OLAP cubes are designed to provide fast, efficient analysis of large volumes of data. They use pre-calculated aggregates to speed up queries and allow for complex calculations to be performed on the fly. OLAP cubes can also be used to support interactive analysis, allowing users to drill down into the data to explore relationships and trends. There are several types of OLAP cubes, including 1. MOLAP Multidimensional OLAP MOLAP stores data in a multidimensional array and supports fast analysis of data. 2. Rollup Relational OLAP. Rollup stores data in a relational database and uses SQL to perform calculations on the fly. 3. Holup Hybrid OLAP. Holup combines the benefits of MOLAP and Rollup by using MOLAP for fast analysis of summary data and Rollup for detailed data analysis. OLAP cubes are a powerful tool for analyzing large volumes of data from multiple perspectives by organizing data into multiple dimensions and pre-calculating aggregates. OLAP cubes provide fast and flexible access to data, allowing users to make better informed decisions. Thanks for watching. Wait for more informative videos.